this is part one of a two, possibly three part series where I'm going to be programming a Motorola Radius M1225. You can use this installing the radio video as just a simple guide. There's definitely better videos out there, but this is just one of the videos that attaches to one of the other videos. Anyways, enjoy. We're going to we're gonna need to take the battery off. Either get a spanner or something. But we need a way to power this radio while we program it. Battery successfully removed. Empty car. I just need to take, now this is gonna be if you've already had your radio installed, but go ahead, undo your cabling, all that. And uh, I probably need to clean these posts up. They're, uh, yeah. Again, this is just kind of filler content uh, for the part one. Uh, what you're really probably interested in is going to be the part two and possibly part three where I set up an emulation. Um, anyways, um, this is the last I'm going to bother you. The rest is just going to be installing the radio after I get this little bit taken out. cable secured. Um, I'll show you guys a little more in depth how to install a radio. Um, it's more of an impromptu way. I wouldn't recommend it for like a permanent installation but it gets the job done because I'm still troubleshooting this Motorola um, so I take this cable out quite a bit. Alright first up putting this right back in. The antenna is a pain, so it's going to be what we do first. And by the way, um, I'm sure probably already said this, don't even know if you can hear me. These have mini UHF connectors. Um, you can pick them up on Amazon. I don't know why they do this. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, if you can avoid it, I would get a cable, run it, then put the connector, then put your coax on because this port is weak and it is probably the number one way to break this radio because that port is very weak Words. that's why that looks weird this radio back in where i like to set it which is right here by my feet out of the way and we'll grab the power cord in a second show you what I'm talking about with the door jam. So, it's a little door jam there. The first step is just getting the dang thing near it, which is a lot easier said than done, because um, this thing does not like to go in quite so easily as one might think. And if you're not doing this, then you have a lot more skills than I do because this is the only way that I found that I can temporarily, but still securely and without looking like doo-doo, secure my radio. Alright, 
now it's time to hook it up to the radio don't actually hook it up to the radio because we're gonna hook it up to the battery I don't want the radio plugged in when we do that all right first up let's get this cable where we like it I like to personally in my car in my setup Come on, focus. And that is how I keep the cable going to the door jam and good. Now, something to note with that door jam, your car might not have that, so you're gonna have to find a different way, but this is what I do. Fun one time. See, the trick here, to be honest, there is no trick. And see, I've been doing it over here. I'll do it somewhere else, so. Get that down there, nice and firm. Nice and tight as well. Oh yeah, that ain't going nowhere. And I'm gonna just do some final touches. A little bit of scotch tape or the trick. All right. All right. Plug it up. See if it turns on. All right. Sweet. So that was that. Um, again, if you want to see the actual programming, go ahead and watch part two. Um, and then if you even need help with that, watch part three. I know it's weird. It's not in really any order. It's just where I put the parts. Anyways, have a good one. If this helped you, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment.
I'll get rid of it. Alright. Oh, that was terrible. Not even remotely close.